Global positioning technology, GPS, is everywhere these days. It's in smartphones, cars, farm equipment, even some planes are relying on GPS instead of radar for navigation. The future, the entire future of air, air transport in this country is predicated on accurate GPS signals. But a new cellular network in the works could knock many of those GPS devices offline. Ignition start. We have liftoff of an ILS proton rocket. The problem grows out of a recent decision by federal regulators to let a satellite company called Light Squared build a high-speed wireless network. Until now, GPS receivers haven't had much trouble filtering out noise from those satellites, but a network of cell towers will amplify Light Squared's frequencies and overpower the signals that GPS devices home in on. The Light Squared proposal puts 40,000 antennas all across the country uh, transmitting on frequencies adjacent to the frequencies used by the GPS satellites and transmitting at up to a billion times more power. Public safety officials are also worried because they rely on GPS to track and dispatch police cars, fire trucks, ambulances and other emergency vehicles. The FCC is requiring Light Squared, GPS manufacturers and users to participate in a technical working group to study the issue and to develop a solution if it finds actual interference. Well, unfortunately, based on the available evidence, we don't really see a solution to the uh, problem of interference. I mean, it is just such a severe uh, problem in terms of the difference in power that as we sit here today, we do not see a technical solution. Future GPS devices can attempt to address the technical hurdles with filters, but Dancy says the existing GPS infrastructure is the issue. Um, our concern, if that ends up being the solution, is we do not believe that people who bought FAA certified equipment should be required to pay the cost of making the light squared system compatible with the GPS system. Jeffrey Carlisle, a former FCC official who now serves as Light Squared's executive vice president, says his company hopes to resolve ongoing concerns and make sure there is a robust GPS system. The FCC will likely hold him to his word. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.